Here we go. Shots fired, shots fired. Dumbass. Suspect has been hit. Suspect is neutralized, moving into secure his weapon. Shoot, oh. no! Oh, did not mean Crap. to jump down there. Ah, come on. Get on the ground, get on the ground. Oh, shit! Damn, he pulled a gun on me. Pretty pit. Oh, crap. Oh, jeez. Let's just tap this guy right there. Get in the car. Get in the car. Okay. Uh, thank you, bulletproof windows. Get down on the ground. You should be able to see your back up there. Just off your 20. Welcome to my Golden Games, and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. This episode is subscriber request by Nightshade, and he wanted us to do an Interpol agent patrol. Basically where we respond to dangerous crimes, terrorist acts, and gang wars, and whatnot. So we have just arrived in Los Santos, at the Los Santos International Airport. We are from Europe, we're from Germany actually, and we're actually set up in this nice Porsche today. So we will begin on patrol. We've basically tracked down a fugitive from Germany. They transported themselves all the way to Los Santos. And they're somewhere in the city. So basically, we're going to be helping the FBI with some of their crimes that they need a little help with. And they're going to help us after we help them. If, you know, scratch your back, you scratch mine. Kind of like that. So anyways, we need to head over to the FBI office and see what's going on with them. Get some intel on their first crime that they want us to, you know, investigate into. So let's, uh, let's go first person because it has been a little bit since we've patrolled in this Porsche. I think it looks freaking beautiful. I've been using this car for quite a while now. Don't use it too often, but I think it looks really good. Really highly detailed. I love the high detailed cars. Uh, let's see. Can we open the hood? Go to doors and let's open all. Okay, so the hood opens up, but again, it's a frunk. So it's actually pretty decent sized. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, the engine, of course, is in the back because it is a Porsche. Gotta love them. Yeah, it used to have a 1986, 1983. Forget what exactly year it was. Got rid of it a few years ago to get a little extra money. But, oh, that was such a fun car. It needed some work, too, so it's probably better to get rid of it. Getting a little old. And, you know, like, with a lot of old cars, sometimes the windshields can start to delaminate. And that could be expensive. Again, it's a Porsche. So, yeah. Anyways, let's head over to the FBI office and, like I said, see what they need us to do first. We are getting up to the FBI building in Los Santos now. Just gonna park, I guess, right up here. There's really no parking, so let me let me give my contact a call, see where they want us to park. Okay, boss. So it looks like they just said to pull up onto the curb. So, ooh, that was a little close. Okay, come on, ma'am. Jeez. Literally, as soon as it turned red, she walked across. I mean, it was green for her. Anyways, they said to park right up here. So let's head on inside the building, go speak with my contact, and get some intel on where they want us to go first. Let me know what you guys think of the outfit, too. Now I'm just working with what we have to work with. Uh, EUP hasn't been updated in, like, eight months or so, I don't think. It's been... It's been quite a while since they've updated the UP. Alright, so this is the FBI headquarters in Los Santos. Let's see, floor directory, uh, fingerprint archive, forensic psych psychiatry, yeah, okay. Forensic psychiatry, uh, anti-terrorism unit, there we go. Floors 11 to 20, that's actually where we need to go. Uh, floor 50, case investigation, we'll head over there after. Administration and commissioner's office. We want to go to floors 11 to 20. Okay. Well, let's go figure out which actual floor that's on. Because I doubt they're all on the all on individual floors. Let's see. Let's head downstairs. It's been a while since I've explored this building. Uh, this is part of the one main mission of the campaign. Uh, where you have to blow up the FBI building or IAA building, one or the other. And you're disguised as a fireman and all that. Anyways, uh, this is this is really interesting looking. Get all the ash and burned char and all that good stuff. Uh, can't get up there. Anyways, let's get back on track for this episode. That was a little uh, distraction. I don't think you can go in any of these rooms now. Okay. I do like how the flashing lights are going on still. Here we go. 
I could have sworn I had open all interiors installed. Apparently not. So I will see you guys after we get our intel and we'll get our car and all that good stuff. And Dispatch to any available central unit. We have a warrant issued for gang-related violence and Suspectors little soul. And dangerous, head to the travel location and execute the warrant. All right, so the FBI wants us to do a high-risk arrest warrant just to kind of, you know, test us out to see how good we actually are before they decide to, you know, scratch our back. So anyways, let's get out here and we will go and apprehend this person. Uh, so right now, all I have is my six hour P226 because it is a freaking beautiful German gun. I, I love this thing so good. If you have ever have a chance to shoot a SIG 226 or 228 or the new, uh, what is it? The Legion M17, I think it is. It's like the remake of the 228 which is the compact version of the 226. This is a really nice gun. I, I really do love this one. Anyways, uh, so we have that one, and we've got our fists. We've got a flashlight for, you know... Uh, I, mm, yeah, those new animations are a little wonky. Let's see, can I turn it on? No. Can, how do I turn the flashlight on? Shit, fine then. It's kind of glitching out. What am I... Oh, I'm aiming at that guy. Okay. Uh, so anyways, let's put that flashlight away. With EUP, or LSPDFR.4, they added that new flashline animation. And then we also have the switchblade because I love switchblades. Anyways, let's get out to the car and go apprehend this person. All right, so it looks like they're actually not too far away. They're a few blocks away, so this should be pretty decent as long as they don't have backup. All right, so it looks like they are just a few blocks away. So basically, I have permission to basically shoot whoever I want as long as it's necessary. Uh, but they do want this one person, the specific one we're going after, they want them alive. So if they have backup, I will try my best not to kill them. But I'm going to do my best not to kill our main suspect. So let's try and get up there. We are going freaking quick. Ooh, gotta love that diplomatic immunity and all that good stuff. Okay. Okay, here we go. How fast are we going? 120. Holy crap. Slow it down. Slow it down. Woo! Damn, these ceramic brakes are beautiful. Let's just take a second to admire the rotors on this thing. Those are massive rotors. Absolutely. Just one more second. Look at that. Nice ride. Whew. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, then. Let's get down over this way. It looks like they're in this parking lot here. So let's pull inside here. Oh, shots fired. What the? F you kidding me, bitch? Uh, hold on a second. Let me check my brief really quick. We want Chloe Shock, one of her gang-related violence, alive. Um, shoot, she's got a knife. Let's get my gun out. No! Ow! No! Drop it! Drop the knife, man! Drop the knife right now! Drop it! Drop the knife! Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon right now! Interpol! Drop the weapon or you will get shot! Where'd they go? Shots fired? Let's get additional law enforcement down here. Drop the weapon! Interpol, right now! Need you to drop the weapon! Copy that, dispatch. Where are they? Man, they shot out my freaking window. Suspect neutralized. Alright, let's reload there. And let's get her in cuffs. Hands behind your back for me. Thank you, Chloe. All right. Uh, dispatch, we have Chloe Sock in custody. Her accomplice has been shot, so we're going to need to get EMS down here. I'm going to search her now. Attention all units. Let's see what Medical she's got aid on her. Stand still, ma'am. She had a safe life defense body armor. Shot. We have multiple Damn, injuries. she had it. Uh, it was the concealable from, um, vest she had under her uh, tank An ambulance top. requested from uh, uh, Rockford Hills. Okay. Respond code three. Uh, let's also get that transport unit down here for her. Ambulance. All right, this thank you, dispatch. Code three. And then we're going to keep an eye on her until the transport unit arrives. Looks like they're right down the road there. Uh, I'm going to grab her here. And let's get her. Come on. Let's go. Move. Let's get her into the transport unit. Hold on. Let's try and get over here. Don't go anywhere. Right here. All right, officer. Here you go, man. All right. No problem. I'm glad I could help. 
All right, let's go see this suspect over here. Secure their weapon. Let's get my sidearm back out just to be safe. Secure the shotgun. There we go. Could actually be using that if we don't turn it into evidence. Uh, we got a new ambulance over there. So long. Our right, clothes shock has been picked up. Oh. Okay then. You guys, right, right over here. Where are you going? Uh, I suppose I should search this suspect. A uh, postcard from Las Venturas and a pair of panties. Okay. You're a loser. Oh no! LSPDFR crashed on us. Dang it! Well, what happened to her body? Okay then, I will get LSPDFR rebooted back up. Dispatch to all central units. We have an incident involving shots fired on an active a active shooter. South Copy Boulevard that. Del Perro. We will go there now. So after this one, they wanted us to go after this. Apparently, they routed it right to us as soon as they heard about it. So we are going to get over there. We are about a half a mile from the location. Dispatch. Let's flip through traffic here. Uh, thread the needle. There we go. Beautiful. And we will be arriving on scene in about 20 seconds or less. This car is freaking quick and agile. That's what I really like about it. Uh, we are arriving on scene now. Let's pull up here and get out. Interpol, move out of the way, people. Get out of the way. Get out of the area, people. Move out of the way. Where are they? Where are they? Are they up here? I hear shots fired over this way. Dispatch, I have shots fired coming from the east. Let's see, where are they at? Uh, we got a body over there. Where are they? Here we go. Shots fired, shots fired. Dumbass! Suspect has been hit. Suspect is neutralized, moving in to secure his weapon. Shoot, oh! no! Oh, did not mean Crap. to jump down there. Ah, come on. Oh. Let's make sure. Don't move, dude, do not move. Secure his weapon there. Uh, uh, let's try and do CPR. Form CPR. And, oh, okay. For a second, I thought his body despawned. Come on, man. Let's try and revive you here. Doesn't really matter to me. I'm just doing my job. Come on. There we go. Come on. Come on. I got you, man. CPR failed. Damn it. You didn't make it, dispatch. The repeat suspect did not make it. Uh, so... Now that I've helped you out, can I get my intel I need dispatch? They want us to do one more job. Okay, copy that. I'll do the same. Let's search the body first and see if he's got anything on him. And then we'll get the coroner down here. A baggie of the white stuff, a clown mask, a small pouch of the green stuff, and a handgun. Damn. All right, uh, let's get the coroner down here. Uh, Jimmy McGee. <laughs> ah, looks like the coroner's arriving on scene. Hello, boys. Yep, that's right. I'm just helping the FBI today. Interpol agent here. Alright, uh, I've got enough pictures. I'll timestamp. Keep it up, coroner. Keep it up. This one appears to die from a high fall. Bitch, I shot him in the freaking neck. Oh, they got this person over there. I should have called... The Yep, my bad. I could have tried to save her. I forgot about her. We've got on a uh, Okay. Apparently there's a group of car that's apparently getting robbed right now. And it's got a bunch of money from the FBI's reserves. Oh, you know, that they use on their weapons and vehicles and roads, stuff like that. So they need us to go secure that bank money. Alright, so we have shots fired. Pull up here. Spets have arrived on scene. I do hear multiple armed suspects. Open fire. Interpol! Drop the weapon! Interpol! Shoot, reloading, reloading. Open fire, come on, come on. Oh, shoot. These guys are heavily armed. Reloading again. Oh, got a headshot on them. There we go. Move up, move up. Interpol, drop the weapon! Nope. 
You're covered, dude. Open fire. Open fire. Good shot. Good shot. She's still getting up. Keep opening fire. Don't let her get up. All right. Oh, he just dropped it. Just dropped the bloodlust. Dispatch, let's get EMS down here to Movie Star Way and a Heritage Way. Ooh, let's secure that Movie evidence. Star Way. Units reporting right. a civilian let's shot. Secure. There's We've evidence got under multiple the injuries. Truck. There we go. Dispatch units from uh, Rockford Hills Fire Department here. and ambulance requested Please, from uh, Rockford Hills. Please, why not see? Well, boys, Interpol, I'm helping the FBI today. Doing good, man. I will ignore the best. It says that bail enforcement. We'll ignore that part. Uh, they got an AK. Damn, that's nice. Let's secure that. Uh, let's make sure we're loaded. All right, let's secure that. All right. Uh, EMS is almost on scene. Uh, we had another bank guard over here. Hold on. Is that two or three bank guards? I could have sworn there's a bank guard on this side. Never mind. Guess not. Uh, while we're waiting for EMS, we'll search the van, I suppose. And I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. If you do, hit that like button. That really does help me out in when you do that. Several rounds of ammunition. A Java mint cigar. Ooh, nice. A pipe. Okay. And pack of new pots. All right. Again, if you guys do enjoy this episode, seriously, hit that like button. That really does help me out when you do that. And maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. As well as hitting that little bell icon on the channel. That way, stay notified when the videos do go up. Let's finish searching this and the same thing. Okay. And let's get a tow truck. What the hell? There we go. And so EMS is on scene. Hold on, people. Hold on. Right. Hopefully, they'll be able to revive these security guards. I mean, this guy over here did a really good job. But apparently, he was hit and he was losing a lot of blood. So. After the shootout, he I mean, passed out. I okay. really hope they're... Ow! Are you freaking serious, ma'am? What the heck was that? Ma'am, step out of the vehicle right now. You just hit me. Are you serious, ma'am? Are you have your ID on you? Thank you. Uh, Angela Hawkins. Let's get a pet check on her. Angela Hawkins, born 10 15, 1974. What the hell? Alexa Valid, no All right, thank you, FBI. Dispatcher. There we go. And let's just uh, question her really quick. Ma'am, you want to tell me why you hit me? You have the right to shut up. Okay, I'm going to let you slide today, okay? So just get back in your vehicle. Get out of here. You're just blocking the road right now. So get out of here. What? Bitch, I could write you up right now and take you to jail. Could probably send her to a gulag in Russia somewhere. Uh, anyways, looks like we are code four on this one. They were not able to get revived. Uh, I think I'm parked over here. Yes. Okay. Uh, looks like we're code four on this one. So let's let's call my contact now in the FBI and see if they're going to give us our information on this suspect we're we're searching for. All right, boys, we are arriving to the location now. Looks like they have a roadblock set up already. Uh, getting a little bit texture lost, not quite sure why. Either way, let's pull the Porsche off to the side of the road. And uh, they said they're going to give us some high-quality gear before we move in on the house. So let's go over here and speak with the FBI agent. Hey, man, how's it going? Where's the gear at you said you have for me? Right in the back of this thing. Damn, this is a freaking badass-looking truck. All right, let's get geared up, and then we're going to move in on the house and try to secure our hostage, or our VIP. Okay, boys, we are loaded up and ready to go. Got this heavy vest on with a ballistic helmet and this G36C. This rifle is freaking sick. It's also got a holographic sight on it. Uh, we do have an MP5 as well with an Extendo Magazino drum Magazino cuz. So this thing should be pretty handy. Uh, I think we'll switch over to the G36C because it's got, what is it, full metal jacket rounds. So let's move up here. And we got, basically there's intel that there's two suspects out front. Okay, so we got this guy here. He is armed. Line him up. Take him down. Interpol, drop the weapon, dude. Drop the weapon right now, buddy. Drop the weapon. Nope. Drop it, dude. Shoot. Switching to the MP5. Shots fired. Shots fired. Moving up. Moving up. Let's go secure the suspect. Out. This is a 100-round drum. Damn. Drop the weapon. Interpol, dude. Drop the weapon right now. 
We've got you, on dude. The floor, on the ground. Let's go. Drop the weapon. I said drop it. Thank you. That's right. You thought you could get away from Interpol by going to the U.S.? I don't think so, man. Secure his weapon there. Dick. And now let's get this guy in cuffs. Hands behind your back. Let's go. Hands behind your back. Uh, thank you, dude. All right. And let's just get a quick pat down of the guy. Make sure this is our suspect, even though he does look like him. Got to make sure it is him, though, with the ID and all that good stuff. Uh, Lars Jameson. A baggie of the green stuff and a pack of Redwood cigarettes. All right. Looks like we are good on that. Lars Jameson. All right. Let's uh, grab him here. And we're going to be bringing him back to Germany. Going to get on the nearest or the, the first flight possible back to Germany. And we're going to be locking him up down there. All right, let's get him upside here, and let's get a transport unit. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. This, you know, added a little bit of story to it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought of that. Maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already, and be sure you hit that little bell icon on the channel. That way, you notified when the videos do go up. All right, guys, take it easy. Okay, that's not good.